Welcome to the Playbook for Amazon podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Lieber, and the goal of this podcast is to share what's working today that's helping my company, Turnkey Product Management, sell over eight figures per year on Amazon for our clients. We will share with you the actionable steps, systems, and playbook that you can plug into your business to boost your sales on Amazon. Let's go. Hey guys, Jeff here, and we have a very special episode today with Rob Burns from Video Telepathy. And what he does is he produces videos that are for Amazon and for e-commerce, and he's built one of the the coolest companies in that space that I've seen. I've looked at his work, and I've gotten to get to know him, and and so we've got to really share some awesome tips today that you can apply to your business. If you haven't invested time or money into video, this is the episode that you have to listen to, Um, and I highly recommend that you do. You know, contact uh, Rob and his team over at Video Telepathy. Um, tell him that Turnkey sent you, and he'll definitely hook you up. Um, but yeah, it looks awesome. It, it's affordable. Um, you know, I mean, for less less than a thousand bucks, you can finally have video assets that you can use in your business for ads, for Amazon, for so many things. So, uh, really looking forward to uh, hearing your guys' feedback on this episode. I hope that you enjoy it. Let's dive in. All right, guys, today we are talking with Rob Burns. He's, his video company is uh, Video Telepathy, and he makes videos for Amazon and e-commerce and for your website. And I'm going to be trying my best to pull out some nuggets of wisdom so that you guys can apply it to your business today. Thank you for joining me, Rob. How's it going? Yeah, it's going great. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Cool. So, yeah, just tell me a little bit about yourself, like maybe before, you know, when did you start Video Telepathy? But, you know, what were you doing before then? Yeah, so video telepathy, I think, was probably two, three years ago we started. Um, before that, we actually had a um, a uh, online press release company where we actually did a, a video press releases. So we actually had a newsroom with anchor people, and and we didn't try to be, especially now these days, you know, fake news. But um, you know, we would just be like, you know, this is like the press release, uh, you know, spokesperson, and they and they would actually read the press release and then they would use it. And then they, they could also like send it out through social media and things like that. So we had, it was kind of the, you know, a, a next uh, kind of the next uh, step in progressing for, you know, adding a little bit more tech onto, onto PR and that kind of thing. And that went really well and we wound up selling it. But um, in the interim, we, we just, we had been doing some research wondering, you know, what's the next thing that we're going to do. And, and um, we just thought e-commerce was really just, you know, just taken off like crazy. And so, um, so we, we just kind of, uh, Went went in the direction of uh, you know making e-commerce, you know doing e-commerce and uh, Amazon videos and crowd funds and commercials and things like that. And so, so we built out the studio and uh, that's and we're off to the races. Nice. Well, that's that's awesome. Video press release. I've never heard of that, but uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it sounds pretty. Yeah, cool. it's it's still around. It's doing really well. Um, we sold okay. it to a, a Canadian company. Um, it's called PR Reach. And so a lot of our listeners, they are majority are selling only on Amazon, but they've got a website or things like that. And then obviously we've got some listeners that are all over the place, retail, you know, f- fully multi-channel. Right. But um, I just want to hear it from you because I, I, I say all the time, if you make a, you know, people are always saying like, I don't want to take the time or money to invest in video. But I always say like, you don't only have to use it on Amazon, right? You can also, one one great video that you make can be an asset that you can use on other channels, right? Like like not just Amazon, is that right? Correct, yeah. And we, uh, there's a couple of different kinds of videos that we specifically um, design a video so that you can do just that. So you can take out little uh, segments. Um, with Amazon, like even their product videos, they like them they like them really kind of short and sweet and they don't like really like any direct response kind of stuff. So they don't like salesy stuff or hypey stuff mm-hmm. or promises. And so we do a lot of what we call product demonstration videos. And it's basically showing the product being used. It, it's really designed to kind of put that product in the user's mind's eye. So they imagine themselves using the product and then it's supported by uh, dynamic text with benefit points and music. And so like those kind of videos, you can actually slice up. And so like each different benefit point and you can slice it up into like a little 15 second segment and then maybe use it for an ad. So, and you can use those ads on Facebook and Instagram and whatever. Um, they, they work really well as uh, YouTube pre-roll ads um, mm-hmm. because you know, with YouTube pre-roll ads, you really want to kind of put that hook in that first 10 seconds to get them to click. And so those, those are really designed to, to automatically do that. We also have something called a market review video, which 
we've kind of put on pause uh, during COVID because those are really kind of like the man on the street where we'll actually take a product and we'll go out on the street and vendor, the, the manufacturer will tell us, you know, these are the benefit points. You know, these are kind of these questions that we want to talk about. And then, and then we'll go out and give them product and, and have them. And, and it works great for things like say coffee, you know, so we mm. go to like a farmer's market and it's like, Hey, you want to try this organic coffee? And then we'd ask them, you know, so what do you think about, you know, this is organic coffee, you know, so how's that taste compared to other coffee? And then, we, you know, we're filming them with their response. And then, so the responses all look like statements and we just take all of those five or six different statements from five or six different people. And then we mash them into a video. Those work great, especially people that don't have testimonial videos or they're like a new company because we get a lot of folks that ask like, Hey, can you film, you know, can you, can you hire some actors and film testimonials for us? And we're, <laughs> and we're like, no, because one, it's unethical and two, nobody's going to believe it. And so mm -hmm. um, if you need testimonials, but you don't have them, then this is the best way to do it. And, and it is, you know, finding real people and asking them real questions. And, and those are their actual responses. And those, you can take those responses, which are talking about benefit points. And you can also slice that up into micro content that you can run on social or make ads or do whatever you want to mm -hmm. do. So, and um, we, we still do market review videos, but mainly there's two different kinds we do. There's a, kind of the, where we just go out in the field and we'll just like, hey, you want to try this? And we'll just film the response and ask them questions. And then the other is to say like it's a supplement or a cosmetic or something like that. We'll actually find people that are in that demographic. And like sometimes we'll even run ads like, hey, in San Diego or you know, anybody between the ages of this and this that you want to try, you know, this face cream. And then. And then we'll find these people, we'll give them the product, we'll have them try for whatever length of time that the companies, you know, say this is, you know, how long you need to use the product. And then we'll come back and we'll film the responses that way. And we still do that. But um, a lot of the other stuff, just because in California, like you can't give out free food samples or things like that. So, so some of those we yeah. have to hold off on just in this gotcha. crazy so new what, world we live in. Yeah, it is a wild world. Um, so what other types of videos are you doing and are working on Amazon right now? Yeah, I would say probably that, you know, the, the, the product demo video is, is really kind of what Amazon says they want. And, and mm -hmm. like we were talking about before the Zoom call is like Amazon's really good at having like a whole bunch of rules and wanting things certain way, but not telling anybody or burying it, you know, under 7,000 layers of web pages to until you can mm -hmm. find it and, and, or you just get rejected. Um, oh yeah. But they love, and a good thing about that too is because Amazon, you know, is just has a gazillion dollars to spend on testing. They know what converts and what doesn't, and they love demo videos. And, you know, as opposed to say like a talking head or a spokesperson or a direct response where you're like, Hey, buy this stuff. This stuff's great. And, and they usually will reject that because if there's any kind of a claim or, you know, bragging or specials or any kind of, you know, time sensitive stuff that you would talk about in there, they're going to reject it. So um, you always want to kind of keep it. So you're really just, trying, you know, just showing your product in the best light is, is probably with Amazon the best way to go. Um, so, so product demo videos, uh, market review videos, and then we're, we're getting into doing short 15 second ads where we're, we'll just do kind of a bundle or shoot, you know, four, four or five uh, videos or maybe do a demo video and then, and then throw in ads and we'll do like these little short 15 second ads. And again, it's just like one benefit point showing the product being used. And actually what's really good about that is because it's one benefit point. And if you have multiple ads with, and each one has a different benefit point, a lot of folks will think, you know, especially when they first launch something, they'll think, well, this is the reason people are buying, you know, they think, you know, you know, B, you know, X, Y, Z blue widgets are the best. And let's, let's lead with that. And they'll spend a bunch of money and they'll spend a bunch of money on videos. And then all of a sudden, you know, it turns out that, you know, yellow widgets were really what people were interested in. But if you have these little short 15 second ads, you can test stuff out. You can find out what the benefit point is. And we, we, we kind of call them like fishing lure ads because it's just enough to attract their attention, get their, you know, get them to click, you know, and say, oh yeah, you know, that's, I want one of those. And then, or I've been thinking about one of those and then they click on it and then they can find out more information on the, on the, the actual page. Yeah. And, and speaking of video ads, yeah, at, at Turnkey, a lot of our ads clients, you know, most of our clients have videos by now or they're in progress or we're going to refer them over to you. Um, but, yeah. uh, but we're seeing really good success on the Amazon video ad side because it's a new yeah. thing. And whenever something new comes out on Amazon, uh, like video ads, you know, like 
the first movers, the people that jump in and, and jump on it, they're going to get, you know, cheaper clicks, cheaper costs to acquire those customers and they're going to reap those benefits. And then probably two, three years from now, it's going to be, you know, overcrowded with videos and it'll be a lot more competitive. Right. Um, so yeah, we, from your clients, that. I know you've made video ads um, for, for Amazon specifically, what are some like tips or examples that you've seen do well? That's one of the things we, uh, that we noticed too. So two years ago when we started out, we would have kind of spokesperson videos and we would do QVC style. And, and this is also on the e-com side too, or, or, you know, running, you know, like a Facebook ad video or, or something like that. We would see like these talking heads, you know, kind of like, Hey, you know, I just tried this new organic coffee and it's amazing. And I think you should try it. And then they, you know, they would go and, and then we would support it with um, stock footage and, and, and stock imagery and things like that. And, and people were just amazed. They're like, Oh my gosh, this is crazy. And I, you know, two or three years ago, any video was amazing and, and it just converted. I mean, it could just be junk, you know, and it was just like, ah, it's a video. So nobody else had videos. So you were just that much further ahead. And through the years, as, as things have evolved, um, you know, one is quality does matter. You know, there's so many people out there. It's like, ah, oh, just get something up. It doesn't matter. But, but because it's so competitive and now there's other agencies and they're all, they just keep raising the bar. The people know that. And, and really you, you think about videos different in the respect that it's showing your product in the best light. So you want to have the best quality video you can. It, it, it will make a difference. You know, the, you know, there's all the old school direct response guys, you know, ugly sales letters and ugly imagery and all that stuff, you know, still converts, but I'll argue with them all, all day long and, 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 you know, prove it that actual quality videos will help it. And really it's, it's su short and simple and really drilling down to the essence of what your product is. That's what's going to be best. Um, as opposed to, you know, any kind of, you know, hype or trickery or, or anything like that. And it's just because we've just done thousands of videos and we've just seen what works. And so back two or three years ago, um, five to eight minute videos converted best. Now I'd say 45 second or less videos convert better, you know, for their product videos and ads are even shorter, believe it or not. They're just people's, people's attention spans are just condensing and, and they, there's more of more of that kind of stuff out there. So, um, yep. you know, and, and as far as, you know, kind of an ROI, it, it's, it's hard to say that without just sounding hype or bragging, but I mean, we do get like a lot of customers where they're like, you know, we put the video up and it paid for itself in the first day, you know, you know, those people actually had some momentum and they already had traffic. It just, so, you know, they had conversion issues and so the video helped them convert. So they already had more traffic. And, and so, you know, they could see a noticeable difference. So, you know, it's different for everybody. If you're just starting out, there's so many things that, and so many metrics that you're going to have to figure out before you really get everything tuned up that videos are going to help. Absolutely. But, you know, is it, you know, why it helped? You're probably not going to know for a bit. Have you had any clients report back to you that like, man, after I put that video up that you guys made and now it's been up for a period of time, like our conversion rate went from 10% to 13% or like any numbers like that or sales figure numbers or anything? Yeah. I mean, it, it's hard to say without being hype, but yeah, like we have one client and it, it, like they had, a, they saw a 300% increase in conversion. I mean, in, in like that month's worth of stuff, but um, you know, wow. there, you know, but it's always like, when I hear stuff like that, I'm always a little leery too, because you know, who knows, maybe it was something like we just dropped, they dropped it in right, you know, for a seasonal thing. So like if somebody put a video up right now, just before Christmas, they're probably going to see more conversion than if they put it up, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of weeks after new year's. So, um, yeah, but, but yeah, I, I would say on average, 20% would be a good, would be a good number. You know, if, if you averaged out, you know, people that have, you know, a lot of, a lot of traffic, Versus, mm -hmm. you know, versus don't, you know, kind of thing. But you no, use those videos really, to get traffic really. too. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, for sure. Cool. Yeah. I mean, if if you can bump it twenty percent or even ten percent, you know, that's that's going to pay for itself. You know, maybe not in a day most of the time, but certainly yeah. you know, over yeah. a period of of months, and then you've got that asset for years, right? That's what exactly we always tell our clients. Um, cool. So, what are some do's and you mentioned some already but what are some do's and don'ts like for creating amazon videos yeah um 
Yeah, it, I, you know, stay away from the direct response stuff. Um, you know, uh, making false claims or not not false claims, but just kind of hypey claims like we're the best. Um, mm -hmm. Disparaging your competition. I'll get, I'll get. Yeah, these are all just things that 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 will will get you you know your your video just rejected. Um, mm -hmm. Disparaging competition, putting any kind of time sensitive stuff on there, like you know you know, or, or false scarcity or, or anything like that, that, that'll usually get, you know, bounced, um, or, or, you know, knocking down your competition that that's a, that's always a good one that that'll get you, get you rejected. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, it really, it, it, like the formula is so simple that, that people, it's, it's almost, you know, it's kind of like you, you ever read those books and like really like the stuff you needed to know, you probably could have read two paragraphs. You're like, oh, that's it. And then they just added a bunch of stuff in there. To, to It's kind of like that with doing Amazon videos. I mean, it's just you really just want to show your product in the best light and you want it, you know, you want to do it in a way that people imagine themselves using it when they're watching the video and that they want to buy. And that's that's really it. It's not any more difficult than that. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I mean, what it's about, difficult so I've seen, on our end to make it look like, make it do that, but yeah. Know, so. Exactly. I've seen a number of uh, videos and brands where they've got like a spokesperson in the videos and the spokesperson is, is narrating or, you know, showing off the product. Yeah. Uh, and, and sometimes it's a doctor, they're wearing a lab coat, if it's a supplement yeah. or a cream or something. Um, you know, sometimes it looks natural, sometimes it looks fake. Do you ever recommend using that or only in certain cases? Um, yeah, I mean, we actually, and it's more on the e-commerce e side where we, we actually have a couple products where they actually, the doctors are part of the company and they're, they're endorsing things and those are good. You know, it, it, it's all, it's all pretty subjective. I, I guess it depends on your marketing chops and, and how you're marketing as far as this, you know, having like a, a rent a doctor or, or something like in, like that in there. Um, you're going to have to be a really good copywriter to, to kind of write around the fact that, you know, the believability point of whoever this doctor is, you know, so, you know, if you have something like a, a doctor that's talking about, you know, a skin cream or something, and then it turns out like he's a chiropractor or something like that, then, you know, you just, people just pick up on that stuff. I just like, and, and maybe just because I'm just old and jaded and been in the business a lot. Like I could look at commercials and, and videos and go, nah, that's not real, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> and then um, how much that affects overall is, is really that's kind of up to the up to the client but we we really really try to stay in it you know within that kind of integrity mode like mm -hmm. like i said we won't do fake testimonials we won't do fake people um and so if it you know and and we do spokesperson stuff so we do have and, and we have qvc people where it's uh, you know almost like a show where they're like hey you know and it's you know living life with christine or something like that and it's and it's you know a featured product and, and, and those work really well on amazon live so that's it. That's, mm -hmm. and that's a whole new kind of worms. It's opening up and it, Amazon live is a, they're a little looser right now, just because I think, I think it's Amazon's way of trying to compete with um, influencers because if you can see, they're kind of gear it towards that where it's, you know, like a, like a TikTok or an Instagram influencer style either. Mm -hmm. So, and, and so there's, there's two different ones, you know, two different kind of, kind of people on there. It seems so now. So there's like mom and pops, uh, three really kind of mom and pops and, 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 you know, their cell phone stuff and, and, and those, some of those work fine. And then there's, um, you know, kind of the, the Instagram influencer type that's always doing product reviews and going through. And then there's really bigger brands. Like you'll see stuff from Puma and Puma is like doing high production stuff shot in a studio. That's just like QVC or they're doing like little mini docu style things where it's like a workout, you know, you, you can jump on Amazon live and do a workout, you know, with, whatever new Puma equipment they have and things like that. And so, you know, those are much higher, higher level produced. And then we would probably stay away from the first two just because it's nothing that, you know, the, the average Amazon user couldn't do themselves. So, um, and then we, we kind of stick with the others, the other productions. So, so like one of the biggest hurdles, like when we're talking with our, our clients is like, well, like I'm going to do a video shoot or whatever, like, like how much is that going to cost? You know, how much time is it going to take? You know, and I always tell yeah. them, like, well, it depends how, how you do it. If you want a full like Super Bowl commercial type quality, like, yeah, that's going to be really expensive. But you know, if you're just talking about like, you know, the, the product demo video or what have you. So like, what's the, talk about the, the, the price range, um, 
you know, as much as you want that, that you guys offer, like what's the, yeah. know, what's the lowest they could get in for the most basic video versus right. you know, the high end. So I would say probably our least expensive um, would be uh, like a product demonstration video. And, and that's probably the video we do the most. And those are, I think five ninety seven each. And, okay. and we actually have um, packages where, cause most people have multiple products. So like um, almost anything you buy, like if you buy five of anything, you'll get the six one for free. So you can buy five product demo videos for five ninety seven, and then you get the six one um, for free. So it, so it saves you an, an extra $597 off it for six videos. You know, it goes all the way up to say like a market review video. Those start around 1997, um, mm -hmm. you know, because we're actually out in the field and we're finding people and things like that. Um, you know, all the way up to we're, you know, renting a movie studio and, and um, like we have our own studios, but say we want something bigger and like um, with set builders and things like that, you know, and, and those go, you know, into the six figures. So all, yeah, all that's the way awesome. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think anyone that's serious about their business, I mean, just think about it. If you're making, if you're already making a few grand a month, at least in revenue, you know, a one-time investment of 600 bucks or whatever it is to at least get your first product video, you know, made by a professional, you know, like that's, it's going to pay for itself. And you can put that video on your website as well on Shopify or wherever your website is, spice it up for social media on YouTube. You know, I mean, how can you not get 600 bucks worth of value out of a professional exactly. video is my, is my thought on it. So um, well, that's awesome. So I think a good way to wrap up, where can people find you if they're interested? Yeah. Uh, just video telepathy.com, which is super not easy to spell. So <laughs> it's video T E L E P A T H Y.com. And if you had any, nice. you know, extra just questions and you wanted to talk to me specifically, you can just, just send an email to Rob at video telepathy.com. Nice. That's awesome. Well, uh, yeah, I plan on sending uh, our clients that need help to you and uh, really appreciate you taking the time and sharing some wisdom with us today. So yeah, thanks, thanks Rob. It, it was a great time. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode with Rob. I highly recommend that you reach out to his company, Video Telepathy, and make sure to tell him that Turnkey sent you and he will get you guys hooked up. His pricing options, I looked at them, are very reasonable. Uh, you know, if you haven't invested in video and you're like, I just you know, haven't had the time to get around it. This is why you just hire a team like that. And it's very, very affordable. So I highly recommend that you check it out. And thank you guys for so, so much for listening. And if you ever need help um, in any other ways, you know, unrelated to video, if you need help scaling on Amazon, growing your business, you know where to find us, turnkeyproductmanagement.com slash resource. There's lots of great information there and free resources and downloadables and tips for you guys. Um, and you can always uh, book a call with us as well if you're ready to scale to the next level. All right, have a good day. Thanks.